What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I want to show you guys some hidden Galaxy secret features that you might not know that you can do on your Galaxy phones that I highly suggest you guys check out because, well, they're pretty cool. Now, the first one we're going to start with is going back to the legacy video seek bar. So if I open up my gallery, you can see I have a video here. And if I start playing it, I need to actually tap on the video down here. And now I can kind of just scrub through it like this. Now, this is the new video player. I don't really like this. I like the legacy one where we actually have a seek bar. And I'm going to show you exactly how to go back to using that seek bar. So what we need to do is go to the gallery in our phone, tap on the three lines here, go to settings, and we're going to go down to gallery labs. If you don't have gallery labs right here, tap about gallery and just tap on this version number a whole bunch of times until it tells you that you've enabled gallery labs. And then when you go back to those settings, you'll see it down here. So tap on gallery labs and then we're going to scroll down until we see video player mode on film strip and you see it's set to default but we're going to set it back to legacy video seek bar we're going to tap ok and now you have to actually exit out of the gallery application to reset it and now we're going to go back into our gallery and then if we find that video again you can see as soon as we open up that video we get the seek bar right away and we can start scrubbing through the video to whichever point that we want and i like this player much more than the new default one. So if you want to get this seek bar back, that's how you do it. All right, guys, this next tip is one of my favorites. I use this every day, multiple times a day, and it has to do with these two lines right here on my lock screen. You can see if I swipe up on this, it'll actually bring up my entire notification history and I can go through all of the notifications that I've gotten on my phone directly on my lock screen without even having to unlock my phone. And that's just really useful if you swipe a notification away or if you just want to see any notifications that have come in in the past little while, you can view them directly from your lock screen. Now to enable this, what you're going to want to do is go to your good lock application, go to the life up section and then look for the Nodi star module. And when you tap on it, if it's your first time using it, it will ask you to download it onto your phone. But once you have it, all you got to do is just go to the settings and make sure to activate Nodi star. And that's it. Now you have those notifications directly on your lock screen and you can even change the storage period. So if you want to save notifications up to 30 days, six months, a year, or even have no limit, you can go ahead and select that. I find that for me, seven days is just enough, but go ahead and set this up to your liking. And now you can view all of your notification history directly from your lock screen. Pretty cool. All right, guys, now this next tip is going to make you be a better friend or at least make your life a little bit more convenient because if you've ever had to send somebody a happy birthday message or maybe happy Mother's Day to your mom, but you often forget the day of, you can actually schedule your messages to go out on a certain time in advance. So for example, let's say we go to our messaging app and our friend's birthday is coming up in maybe two weeks and we want to make sure that we don't forget about it and that this message gets sent nice and early on their birthday. All we got to do is write out our message and then instead of sending it, just tap and hold on the send button and you can see you get a schedule and it asks you when you want to send this message. So you can send it tomorrow or you can pick a specific date and time. So for example, let's say our friend's birthday is the 22nd of May. We can select that, hit next, and now we can pick a time. So for example, let's say we want to send them a message nice and early at 9 a.m. We can select that and then tap set. And then when we hit the send button, you can see that there is a scheduled message. It actually has not been sent yet and it will actually stay here the whole entire time until that date comes and what's cool is you can continue talking to your friend and send them messages but this scheduled message will stay here until it's ready to go out and of course if you want to edit it or delete the message you can just tap on it right there you can update it send it now or just delete the message like that so definitely a really cool feature if you want to set up some messages in advance so that you never forget to wish somebody a happy birthday again this next feature is also one of my favorites i use this pretty much every single day and that is to map the long press of the power button to the flash of my phone and I just find this really convenient if I'm ever walking around my house at night or I need to find something in a drawer and instead of having to turn on the lights and blind everyone or myself I can just quickly access the flashlight to see what I'm doing so definitely a really convenient feature and to set this up what you're going to want to do is also go into your good lock module again go to the life up section and this time look for the registrar module right there so again if you uh, have never used it it'll ask you to install it so get it installed but once you have it opened up you're going to look for the side key press and hold action we're going to tap on that and you can see we have a whole bunch of options in here that we can map that long press of the power button too so you can turn on your flashlight you can uh 
mute or unmute all your volumes, show your notifications, you can take a screenshot, or you can even open a specific application. So you can tap on this gear icon, it'll show you all of the applications that you have installed on your phone. So if you want to open up maybe Netflix, we can set that up, make sure we hit this bubble right here. And now anytime we long press that uh, power button, you can see it'll open up Netflix. But again, I like to set this to my flashlight, especially because I can use this directly from the lock screen of my phone. I just find that really convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that back. But you guys can uh, go through here and just set this to whatever you want. Definitely a really cool a little module on good luck. You guys should try. All right, guys, now this next tip is a really convenient one and it's going to make using your phone a little bit easier and better because anytime you're reading a long article on a website or you're watching a YouTube video like I am right here, or maybe you're playing a game on your phone, anytime somebody gives you a call, it will completely disrupt what you were doing. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give myself a call from this phone right here. And you're gonna see on my phone, that call completely takes over my screen. I can no longer see what I was doing and I have to tend to this call. But I'm gonna show you guys a nice setting you can change that'll make that uh, pop up a little bit less distracting. So what we can do is go to our app, phone app right there, tap on the three dots here, go to settings. And then right here, you'll see where it says call display while using apps, tap on that. And you see by default, it's set to full screen. So anytime you get a phone call, it completely takes over your entire screen. But right here we can select small pop-up or mini pop-up and you can see that it's going to be a much more confined little box when you get a phone call. So let's say we set it to mini pop-up. Now when I give myself a call, you can see what's going to happen is that incoming call is going to be confined to this little box up here and I can continue doing whatever I was doing. I can still read whatever I was reading or look at whatever pictures I was looking at and even if I answered this phone call, it's still confined up to here. It doesn't just take over my entire screen and I can continue interacting with my phone and doing whatever I was doing. Now, for those of you who like to change your wallpapers often just to keep the look and feel of your phone fresh, you're really gonna like this feature because what it's gonna do is allow you to have a different lock screen wallpaper every time you lock and unlock your phone. And you can see every time I unlock my phone and go to my lock screen, I have a different image and this just makes your phone feel a little bit different every single time you go ahead and unlock it and this is really simple to set up you don't need to install any applications you don't need good luck on your phone all you got to do is go to your gallery and you can go to any of your albums and pick any pictures that you want so for example you can see i have a wallpapers folder right here with a bunch of pictures i just downloaded from the internet and you can do this in any of your own albums it can be any pictures that you choose and all you got to do is just select up to 15 photos so i'll select 12, 13, 14, 15. You can see I have 15 selected. And then you just gotta tap on these three dots right here. Select set as wallpaper. And then tap done. And that's pretty much it. Now, every time you go to your lock screen, you can see changes have been applied. Every time you go to your lock screen and you unlock and lock your phone, you're gonna get one of those 15 photos and it's just gonna cycle through those 15 every single time. So definitely a nice little feature to keep your phone looking nice and fresh and seeing a new wallpaper every time you unlock your phone. All right guys, so for the final secret Galaxy setting that a lot of people don't know about, it's the ability to easily transfer and share high quality files with anyone. So you know how sometimes you wanna send a video or a photo to a family member um, sometimes you'll probably use something like WhatsApp, but the problem with WhatsApp is it actually compromises on the quality. It doesn't exactly send it in 4K or even 1080p. It kind of just compresses it a little bit and the quality just isn't as good. But I'm gonna show you a way to send 4K original quality videos or photos or whatever, even with people who don't have a Samsung phone. So you can share these high quality videos with absolutely anyone without losing on any of the quality. So I'm gonna open up my gallery right here and you can see I have this video right here from Disneyland. This is the Tron ride right here. And you can see if I swipe up, this is a 4K video. Now, all you gotta do to share this video is just tap on the share button. And instead of sharing it via any of these applications you have down here, we're gonna tap quick share. And what this is going to do is upload this video to the Samsung cloud. And then once it's uploaded, what you can do is actually take this QR code and then anyone can just use their phone camera to scan that QR code and it will take them to the Samsung cloud where that uh, video file is uploaded. Or if that person is not with you and they can't obviously access this QR code with their phone, what you can do is just copy this URL 
and send it over to them via email or text message. And when they go to that link, it will direct them to the Samsung Cloud where your video is stored in full 4K quality and they can download it directly from there onto their phone or their computers or wherever. And now they have a high resolution, high quality version of that video or photo. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos to come. But that's gonna do it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.